want to fuck you up. Yeah. Because if you don't have anything bad, they just want to fuck you up because they, they got money with it. Yeah. Okay. So we're just driving around. That's a strong one. Quite a run entrance, man. It's a bit dark, but I guess it leaves your mind down um, wondering what your eyes will be old. So, this is it, people. Actually, it's a painting, almost looks 3D. Roka, Poland. Um, second day here in, in Poland, Roka, city of Roka. Um, no plans for today, really. I'm supposed to be meeting up with my friend, Polish friend, Dominika. Yeah, she lives in Birmingham, but she's back here in Poland visiting family. Um, she's traveling, I'm not sure what city she's traveling from, but it's about an hour. It will take her to get to Rokla, so she should be here anytime soon. Um, she said, did mention that she wanted to, um, let me go and have food at some Polish restaurant to try Polish food. <clears throat> that's um, interesting, but I don't think that's interesting enough for you people um, wanting to discover with myself more of Poland to see what Poland looks like. So I'm going to try my best to convince her to let us <clears throat> um, do something more adventurous like um, going on a countryside you know, you know, something more spontaneous, you know. Uh, I like spontaneity, to be honest with you. You know, I like just getting up, going unplanned and just discovering things. So hopefully, um, guys are people. I don't use guys, people. I'll be able to convince Dominica. So this is day two. Rokla, Poland. MP chosen one here from this Airbnb I'm staying. Let's check out the view again, people. City view, really. <clears throat> Just all housing all around. Uh, you can see we're in, in the back. Yeah, so definitely um, stay tuned to see what you can um, I can cover for day two in um, Rokla, Poland. So, people. Yeah, we're on the road now. Dominica is here. So we're just driving around. What's this trouble? Oh, shit. Well, yeah, I'm on the road. I'm driving here. I'm always scared. It is bloody. Train. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. I thought that tram was gonna. Um, just. You was gonna collide with that tram. <laughs> Yesterday when I was out walking, you were saying, ah. Uh, it really looks like crazy man, tram and car. I mean I see it in Birmingham. I see it in Birmingham, but you don't look so crazy. Yeah, it, it's way different here. Yeah, and man. people are in rush. Yeah. And they, they drive really bad. Mm. Yeah, so basically as I said to you before people, I'm not sure what's the plan today, so yeah, we'll think, see how it goes. Yeah, so Dominica was just saying that um, there's some history places, there's some museum or something like that. Yeah, so we'll go there. But like I said to you people, yeah. I was hoping that we could probably make a drive to the country. But I guess she's not in the mood for that the today. Countryside. Yeah, man. I'd love it. I think, you know, when I was thinking, yeah. um, well, maybe when we finish like, everything here, yeah. and we can go back like, to close to my area okay. and then you can just get a train from there train back to here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Oh, we need to check the trains like when's the last one and we'll be here. Yeah. Are you good? Oh, okay. uh, I'm gonna get lost. It's not good when using um, navigation on it. Right. Yeah people but for the moment we're still in Rokla. What's it called? Wrocław. 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 Say that again. Wrocław. Listen, I pronounce it. I've been pronouncing it Rokla, but the, since uh, <laughs> the, even before I came to, even before Wrocław. I came here. Wrocław. No, I can't pronounce it that way. And 
in general, we've got like funny, um, funny names of the towns and. Yeah, but when if you pronounce it the English way, it's double R O C L A double, isn't it? Yeah, that's what. Well, in English, it's pronounced Rokla. In Polish, it's Rokla. I can't even say that. Look at this madness. Thinking if it looks like the car is going to come over here. Also, in, um, in Poland, they actually drive on the right side of the road. Pretty much as when I was in um, Gambia. Pretty much that's like everywhere. I mean, only England is different than the other yeah, countries. Yeah, England, they drive on the, on the left hand side, and in Jamaica, they drive on the left hand as well. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. In America, it's right hand. Yeah, I think and also uh, Japan and yeah. Cuba, they yeah. drive on the, on the left. It's mm. crazy. I guess, um, and you also have to have a, a left hand vehicle as well, people in Poland. You, you have to have a left hand drive, yeah. In, in Gambia, is the same, your vehicle has to be left handed, left steering, or whatever they call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's just this place on your right, yeah. So it's just find, find the car you have to pay to park here. Um, the park. Like you do in Birmingham. I'll probably find the free one. I am paying shit. So, yeah, in Birmingham, people in England have to pay everywhere you go to park. And this is why, as I said to you, I don't drive. Man, you could have waited, man. No, they don't have to wait here. That's the thing. The man just said it, said it on pedestrian and just fly across because it's so <laughs> because this, it this is, is right. This is the National Museum. Oh, okay. Well, that's the National Museum on the left hand side there. Yeah. Possibly. Sure, I don't know where can I park? You probably go around here and can you go around there? Mm, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yo, this is a nice view here, man. To be honest with you, I've been telling the people yesterday, Dominica, that so far, I don't know how you pronounce it, I pronounce it Rokla, is mashing up Birmingham in terms of the way the city looks. It's clean. Yeah. It's colorful. The, I mean, it's clean, yeah, depends where you go. Yeah, well, I need to go someplace that's not clean. Because all the places I've walked since I've been here yesterday, it's yeah. been clean and the colors, I can't overemphasize how the, colorful this, the city this is. This is the government building. Okay. I don't know what exactly it is, but. Okay. Yeah, probably like city council or something like that. Yeah, it's different. Roads are funny, man. Okay, we lost the arm. Oh. Sorry, do you need it still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. So, oh, so people, it's supposed to be. How much degrees is it today? 330? Oh? 33, 33 degrees today. Yeah, that's super hot. That's super hot, man. So, Poland is hot today, man. Yeah, this is an experience of Polish summer. Yeah, it's proper Polish summer. I mean, yesterday morning, as I said to you, as you seen in that video I posted recently, um, <clears throat> the weather started off badly. Uh, it was a bit of rain in the morning, but then it uh, progressed out and then it was, it was totally different for the rest of the day. I was sweating all day yesterday. Hot, hot, hot yesterday, trust me. Yeah, so there was no sign of that thunderstorm or the hailstorm that they had on. It was crazy. It was the weather here in, um, in Poland that would get it awfully wrong, man. Because I can't believe they actually said there was going to be a storm and then yeah. I came out and it was like super sunny. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. But they don't know what they do in this thing. Yeah. And you can't really predict. Yeah. Hey, these roads are crazy though, you know. There's tram, there's tram. 
lines running straight across and then you turn here. Yeah. Oh, fucking I don't think I'll ever drive in this country. <laughs> What's wrong with our wheels? Yeah, because you're, you're, you're changing the gears quick. Oh, yeah. Walking yesterday, it didn't seem so scary, but driving, I tried driving. <laughs> so this is the river. This uh, bridge over there is quite popular as well. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah. I'm wondering if I walked on there yesterday. I think I walked on that bridge yesterday. Yeah. There's a lot of bridges here. Yeah. Basically, both have is like a city of bridges. Like, yeah, and it's medieval as well. I read up on that. It's a medieval city. Yeah, yeah, that is a speed too. How do you say Zlati? Seven Zlati. Zwati. Zwati. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Nothing is pronounced in the English way. <laughs> no matter how it's spelled, people. Yeah. I thought it was Zlati. I've been telling people that I need Zlati. Yes. So basically, because it's like an L with a thingy and you, oh, you, you read it. Oh, I see that little whip. dot, yeah? It's not a dot, it's like an uh, L iPhone. with a crossing line. Yeah, like mm -hmm. an iPhone. Yeah. So it's, um, you have to read it as such. Z all right, people, we're gonna try and um, go inside this museum, I think, so I'll see in a bit. So, people, we actually have to wait a bit until um, 11 in order to actually go in to see the, um, a bit of history. But um, I was speaking to Dominica just now about, because I did read there that um, Roka, how do you pronounce it? Frost Fra. Yeah. <laughs> was actually not a part of um, Poland for a while. Um, like, what really happened? Like, yeah, it always used to be Polish, but yeah. because of um, different wars in the past, mm -hmm. we lost like our whole country in the 18th Uwaga. century. Państwa, okay, so we will we'll, we'll get back to that yeah. at a later date. So he's on, we're going to go inside now and see what happens. So this is inside the museum, this is the entrance. Mm -hmm. Um, it's quite something to really, um, to really see yourselves. If you did um, visit Poland, I'd recommend you come here. Yeah, it's quite a grand entrance, man. It's a bit dark, but I guess it leaves your mind um, wondering what your eyes will build. of winding stairs. people actually it's a painting almost looks 3d and pretty much of the war that took place what was this war about what was the war about 
ever met. Yeah, but it was a great war, I think. But, um, yeah, let's just get a closer look, people. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be an okay. What are you getting here? So this is a English. So they have given me like a uh, dictaphone that actually give me an English translation. So quite interesting. Malarstwo panoramowe nigdy nie było zaliczane do form wielkiej sztuki. Już sam termin panorama, stanowiący połączenie dwóch greckich słów pan, so this is a panorama painting people. Wiele wyjaśnia. Celem panoramy było wywołać u oglądającego wrażenie, oh, okay. iż znalazł się on w centrum wydarzeń. W związku z tym iluzja ta powinna być jak najdoskonalsza. Nie dziwi więc, że w panoramie obowiązywał naturalistyczny, mocno sugestywny styl malarski. Poza samym malwidłem, wrażenie realności miały wzmagać specyficzna architektura budynku wystawowego. Specjalnie zaprojektowane oświetlenie, kształt, i rozmiar płynia, a także przedłużenie obrazu w kierunku widza trójwymiarowych rekwizytarnych. Pomysłodawcą pierwszej polskiej panoramy i jej współautorem jest Jan Stryka. Zaprosił on do współpracy znanego baterystę Wojciecha Kostaka. Dwóch głównych twórców panoramy pomaga inni artyści. Szczególnie ważną rolę odegrali odpowiedzialni zamalowani krajobrazów, Ludwik Wolne i Tadeusz Popiel. Samo malowidło ma imponujące wymiary, 15 metrów wysokości i prawie 120 metrów w obwodzie, co daje blisko 1800 metrów kwadratowych powierzchni malarskiej. Płótno w kształcie palca zszyte jest so it took nine months people to paint this picture here. Go again. Oh, okay. Odcinają drogę wojskową powstańczym. 
Naczelnik decyduje się na stoczenie otwartej bitwy. Rozproszenie armii rosyjskiej stwarza szansę na pokonanie wroga. Mimo braku o uzbrojeniu, co szczególnie dotyczy artylerii, oddziały powstańcze mogą liczyć na sukces. Fragment malowidła, który teraz mamy przed sobą, przedstawia prawdowy atak 320 kosenierów na baterię rosyjskich armat. Przy pierwszej, najbliżej nas stojącej armacie widzimy chłopa, który ciągle zakrył lody działa, a kosą o złamanym drzewcu próbuje dosięgnąć rosyjskiego kanoniera. To Wojciech Bartosz, chłopiec z pobliskich rzędowic. Obok niego dwaj inni chłopi zdążyli już zarzucić postronki na armatę, by odciągnąć ją ku polskim pozycjom. Walka toczy się wzdłuż całej baterii rosyjskiej. Część żołnierzy carskich unosi karabiny i białe chusty na znak poddania. Chłopi nie rozumieją tych gestów i sieją spustoszenie w szeregach przeciwnika. Z lewej strony widzimy grenadier armii rosyjskiej. Kościuszko reaguje na to manewrem taktycznym. Wymyka się z przygotowanego okrążenia w miejscowości Kolumisza i rozpoczyna marsz w stronę Działożyc. W odpowiedzi na to pod Działożycami oddziały generała Aleksandra Tormasowa odcinają drogę wojsko powstańczym. Naczelnik decyduje się na stoczenie otwartej bitwy. Rozproszenie armii rosyjskiej stwarza szansę na pokonanie wroga. Mimo braku o uzbrojeniu, co szczególnie dotyczy artylerii, oddziały powstańcze mogą liczyć na sukces. Fragment malowidła, który teraz mamy przed sobą, przedstawia prawdopodobny atak 320 kosenierów na baterię rosyjskich armat. Przy pierwszej, najbliżej nas stojącej armacie widzimy chłopa, który ciągle zakrył lody działa, a kosą o złamanym drzewcu próbuje dosięgnąć rosyjskiego kanoniera. To Wojciech Bartosz, chłopiec z pobliskich rzędowic. Obok niego dwaj inni chłopi zdążyli już zarzucić postronki na armatę, by odciągnąć ją ku polskim pozycjom. Walka toczy się wzdłuż całej baterii rosyjskiej. Część żołnierzy carskich unosi karabiny i białe chusty na znak poddania. Chłopi nie rozumieją tych gestów i sieją spustoszenie w szeregach przeciwnika. Z lewej strony widzimy grenadier. So um, people will just skim outside this. Is it a museum or is it a painting? It's just a painting. It's yeah. a painting, but it's quite interesting, as you see in the clips before. Um, but this is outside of the, so the building. So that's that's the that's the, yeah. Okay, yeah. this is it actually. Yeah, this, this is where we okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's actually a round. It's um what we call a cone shape. What um, cylinder, cylinder shape cylinder. building. It's called what? Rotunda. Rotunda. Yeah, when I used, when I did architectural um, architectural drawing in high school, they call this a cylinder because yeah, of its spiral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but rotunda. Yeah, so it's quite interesting. I've never seen anything like that. The the the, the, yeah. the, the fact that they actually incorporate it looks really natural. Yeah, it so looks, there's dirt there and everything. Yeah, and, and it, look, it actually looks like it is in 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what you said the war was about, it's, it's a panorama, panorama painting yeah. of the war, of... Um, of the battle. Battle. Um, it, yeah, the town called Ratswavice, so it's Panorama Ratswavitska. Oh, okay. And basically it was, um, I don't remember what he said, it was 17... Yeah, 19, somewhere in the 17th 19, century. 19, yeah, 17th yeah. century. No, 18th century, 1791, I think, yeah. yeah. And it was basically... There was many more Russian soldiers than the Polish yeah. ones, okay. and then invaded us like during the occupation, yeah. and they lost basically. That was like 1,000 of the soldiers, and they just uh, laid back. Yeah. And yeah, okay. it was during the occupation. Yeah. But what, what but, do you? How do you feel about it though? Being a, a, a Polish. How do I feel about it? Yeah, about the I war. I mean, we've got like a really rough history. Yeah. That's that's what it is. Um, yeah, but it's better days now. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully yeah. Russia doesn't invade us. <laughs> so people, it's better days now. I mean, war has been so much a part of, and battles have been so much a part of history, of people all over the world, not only here in Poland, but. 
trust me, it goes on and on. If we go back to the beginning of time, there's been there's been um, war, there's been battles, there's been fight. You know, personally, I'm not a person of war. I don't think that we need to be fighting. But there comes a time in our lives that we actually need to fight for what we stand up for and believe in and for freedom. You know, people have been lobbying for freedom. Freedom, power to the people all over the world. So whatever is it that you need to fight for people, fight for a just cause, you know, let it be worthy, something meaningful. Yeah, so for now, I'll see you on the other side. We're gonna uh, head to somewhere else. So catch you in a bit.